let's now determine for what values of p this converges. So we'll start by integrating 1 to infinity of k to the negative p dk. And we're going to assume for now that p is not equal to 1 because that will have a special case. So in general, we would add 1 to the exponent and then divide by that number. Plus 1 between 1 and infinity. So 1 over negative p plus 1. And then we have infinity to the negative p plus 1 minus 1 over negative p plus 1 times 1 to the negative p plus 1. So in general, we want to know when this converges. And so this is the main term we're going to look at. And in particular, infinity to a power doesn't converge unless it's on the bottom of a fraction. So this converges when negative p plus 1 is smaller than 1. Or sorry, is smaller than 0 whenever it's a negative number. So 1 has to be smaller than p. So as long as p is greater than 1, this thing converges. However, if that exponent is positive, we will have issues. So, if 1 is greater than p, it diverges. And we'll notice if 1 is equal to p, this is the harmonic series, which will also diverge. So in general, we've decided that this series converges as long as p is greater than 1. And this is known as our p-series test. Anytime we have something of the form 1 over k to the p, if the power is bigger than 1, it converges. If the power is less than or equal to 1, it will diverge. For example here, if I look at the denominator, I can rewrite this as k to the 3 fourths power. And since 3 over 4 is less than 1, this thing will diverge. This one looks slightly different since it has a k minus 1 squared. However, we can see that this will be very similar to 1 over k squared. And in particular, it will follow the same rule. This will converge since 2 is bigger than 1. My exponent is bigger than 1 here.